All right, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Train Depart. It's a Fierce to Fathom inspired game. Uh, the last couple I've played were pretty long. I feel like it's kind of hard to keep people's attention with the longer videos, so I figure this will be a good change up. And if anyone's wondering, that's Frank. He's hanging out and like he's looking out the window. So without further ado, let's get into it. Creepy Waves up then. Train Depart. June 25th. I feel like they've all taken place in June, right? This story, not something I tell often. Honestly, I wasn't sure if I ever would. It was during one of those hot, stifling summers. The kind where the air feels heavy and time seems to slow down. I was 16 and for the first time I was traveling alone. My parents had gone ahead to our family gathering by plane. Me, I was taking the train to meet them. You know, there's something about being alone on a journey that makes you feel more grown up than you are. I had my backpack, my phone, and laptop. Felt like an adventure waiting to happen. When the train started moving, I felt a mix of excitement and a little bit of worry. But I had no idea what was really ahead. I thought it was just going to be a straightforward ride. We got a couple messages here. Good day, your connection, TJ. 1064 will be delayed by approximately 15 minutes. The length of the delay may change. We apologize for the inconvenience. Your train jet. Good day, your seat is 36. Please take your designated seat upon boarding the train. Thank you for choosing train jet. All right. Let's see what mom has to say here. We're heading to the airport now. Flight's at 1130. Uh, our ticket number, so... Alright, got three mom, Den sister. So these are our ticket numbers, got it. Your sister is excited to see you. Bought you a lot of presents from the trip. Tell Linka I've got surprises for her too. Your father mentioned you haven't been answering. Sorry, I was busy packing. I'll call him in a moment. We are flying off. Keep your fingers crossed for us. Mom, you'll be fine. Enjoy the flight. If you're worried about the planes, does that mean we should worry too? I'll call you when we land. Love you. Nah, I only get scared on planes I'm actually on. You guys are totally safe. We've landed. Did you pack everything? Great to hear, and yeah, I'm almost done packing. Still in progress. I'll call you in the evening. Good morning, did you sleep well? Yeah, sort of. Can't wait for the trip. Left your favorite snacks, don't forget them. Got them, thanks. Call me when you're on the train, okay? And remember, no junk food. I know, I know. I'll call once I'm settled. Can't wait to see you. Me too. Let's see what Dad had to say. Morning. Everything in order for your trip? Hey, Dad. Yeah, just finishing up packing. Remember, organization is key. And keep your phone charged. Charger is packed, and I have a power bank. Good. On the train, stay alert, especially with your belongings. I understand. Keeping my luggage close. Also, a bit of reading wouldn't hurt. Balance out the screen time. I packed a few books, actually. Glad to hear. Stay sharp. Call us when you board. No delays. I will, straight after I find my seat. Alright, travel safe. We're here if you need us. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks, Dad. See you soon. Alright. I assume there's nothing to really interact with out here. Doesn't look like it. No doors or anything. Let's hop on. I was planning on going in there for now. Alright. Can I talk to everybody? Ooh, I think I can. Let's see what everybody has to say. Alright, so far, so far nothing. I've taken up gardening. It's quite therapeutic. Ah, train rides. They remind me of simpler times. You saving a seat for someone? Sometimes I think my daughter gets whatever she wants from her father. It's a bit much. I might have promised my daughter a little too much. Can't say no to that face. I heard a strange noise last night as if someone was talking outside our house. Okay. 
A little creepy. <laughs> I wasn't sure if we needed to share that. Don't let this fancy train fool you in this life. You learn to watch your back. Out here, it's no different. Okay. I just wake you up. What are you doing, man? What? May I please get past to my seat? Sorry, is seat 36 on this wagon? Do you know where I can find a toilet? May I please get past my seat? Oh, absolutely, your highness. Be, didn't have to be rude about it. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. I'll just stand out of the way until you're done. Alright, at least you know. My husband enjoys his golf, but I prefer the energy of a lively debate club. I've never been there. Traveling has its own charm, doesn't it? Reminds me of my younger days. He looks upset. I always tell my boy, you've got to be strong in this world. And here's more of the gentle type. Sometimes I imagine what it'd be like to travel the world like in the video games. I did some traveling recently. I was actually on a train too. It was awesome. Sorry to mean to wake you. You just look upset. Dad is always worried on trips. Tells me to look out after my sister. Or to look after my sister. We're planning a little treasure hunt when we reach the city. Kids love exploring new places. We're visiting family and kids were excited about the trip all this summer. I love train rides. Mom says we'll be there soon. Excuse me, I'm, I'm talking to people. I had to reschedule three meetings because of this delay. Where's my seat? 31, 32, 33, 34. 45, 46, I think. Is that a typo? Is that 36? Ah, here we are. Or sitting on my in my seat, I should stow my backpack away. Mom texts us. Have you left already? How's your seat? Everything okay? Yeah, we're on our way now. Found my seat all right, but you know, some people here could be a could be def could definitely be nicer. I'll text more once we're further along. Just setting up my laptop for the journey. My laptop must be in my backpack. Some snacks, some towels. Books about coffee. Laptop. Table was small, but laptop was somehow fit in. Yeah, it's gonna fall off, man. Level 5 AM. So we've been on here for a minute. Vaclav. Yo, finished the history project yet? Almost. Need to add some pictures. Cool, cool. I'm barely halfway through. Just don't use AI generated ones. LOL, sure thing. Actually, it doesn't sound like a bad idea. I heard they do it in some schools. Yeah, check the link later. Man, you online? Arm wrestlers too? Sorry man, train Wi-Fi. Just needed to log in. Want to play the clicker before we arrive. Clicker?
That wasn't creepy. Sorry, what can I get you? Croissant plate and lemon soda, burger with fries and mint soda, Japanese style cake and strawberry soda. Burger's always good. I'm curious what mint soda would be like. I'm afraid we don't have any soda. I can get you some water with the meal. Why offer it? I'll bring your order a little bit later. The train was quite modern. It was strange that they had only water today, but you know, such things happen. Yeah, it wasn't quick enough. I was thinking about going to the toilet before my meal was ready. <laughs> there was a strange bag in the toilet. Oh, hey. It was strange that someone left a bag full of uniforms in the toilet. A little odd. Yeah. Okay. My food could be back at any time, so I returned to my seat without second thought. Gonna wash our hands? Nah, come on, wash your hands, man. Well, that's gross. Hey, it's you. What now? Don't you see I'm busy here? Crazy guy. Alright, let's see what we got here. No food yet. Ooh. 12 21 p.m. It's been 12 hours? Oh man. Let's see what mom has to say. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Looks great. It's okay. And those trains, they make better quality food. Is it tasty? Yeah. She may have no soda. Good. Sad face. That's not what we order. This is. I'm sorry. You were the gentleman that wanted the soda. We found a pack in our storage. Please enjoy. Why'd you open it? Fortunately, they had a few more. That's a seat. That's a service. Why is it opened already? And why'd you only eat the top of the bird? Like, what? Who eats it like that? I need needed to drink something before I eat anymore. He's choking. I was so thirsty that I drank all the soda in a single gulp. It was warm and had this strange taste. I was happy and hoped it wasn't lying there for years. Did he just drug us? I think he just drugged us. Did he just drug us? Throw up. I think he just drugged us. Guess we'll get back in our seat. Wasn't planning on going there for now. Kind of a satisfying sound. Alright, so we're getting sleepy. Probably because we were just drugged. <sighs> 
Suddenly, I felt a strong drowsiness. To be honest, I always had one after a good meal, but that one was more persistent. Oh, he 100% drugged us. That's why I don't take open, open drinks, and it was as if I could not resist at all. Is he just reaching up? Is he a kid diddler? What's this guy doing? 408 p.m. or 1608. You don't really need to add p.m. if you're doing the military time. Why are the cops here? You know anything? Why would someone make three pages long booklet? I need to take a little walk and get some fresh air. So we can step off for a minute. You left your bag. Maybe not. Oh, the cops are on the train now. Let's see what they gotta say. ID and ticket, please. Traveling alone? Yes, my parents are waiting for me at the destination. Hmm. Luggage contents? Any prohibited items? Just my clothes, some books, and snacks. Huh. Always ready, son. Guess a additional search isn't necessary. I know. My parents told me to. Alright, move along. So the border control officers seem to be quite tense, but finally decided to leave me alone. train started leaving to the last station just after he left. Is there something in our bag? That guy was reaching up, and the cops didn't search it. Would you like to order anything else? Just one more soda, please. Sorry, I told you before, we have no soda, unfortunately. We had an unexpected shipment delay. But your colleagues said you found the last bag. Second steward. Sorry, I work alone on today's shift. You feel okay. You don't look well. I'm fine, I guess. You're probably tired. We'll arrive soon. Please call me if you need anything. I need you to kind of stick around and find out who that dude was. The man that was in my dreams. I was looking for something in my baggage. Snacks? Towel? Uh-oh. Strange bag. For some reason, I thought it would be better to check what's inside in the toilet, where no one will see. It's gonna be drugs. There's probably drugs in that too. Why'd you leave the? Then why'd you leave the bag? <laughs> it's a brick of cocaine. I wasn't sure, but this thing looked like the drugs they show in movies. we flush it? Let's flush it. <laughs> oh my god, it's a brick. Uh, for some reason, I didn't come up with nothing better than flush it. I mean, that's fine. Hi there, little boy. What did you do with my little present? What did it do? I'm sorry? Yeah, the present I am traveling with to my old friend. Did you tell something to the police about it? No, no, I, I wouldn't. Now listen to me very carefully. If you want to be safe, you're coming with me and sit on your seat until the last station. And remember, last thing, you do something funny and it will end up badly for you and for your papa and mama. Come on, go forward. Don't be shy. Go on. No. Nope. Open it now. Or what will or you will or you know what will happen after. He was able to break this door. Block it. I must be doing something. I said open it. I just need what's in the bag. I flushed it. You did what? 
I will bury you alive under this train. Open this goddamn door now. Ooh, can I hit him? Go away! Go away! I'm gonna break the window? Ooh. Wasn't me. This train, this is train board service. Are you okay? We had an emergency call from this toilet. Please open the door. I'm not opening. Hell no, I'm not opening. We did it, yeah! A few years have passed since the incident. My parents had many meetings with the police, but in the end, everything turned out all right. Our family was provided with protection and even received a certificate from the city. And little by little, memories of that event e event have faded. But since that day, I've started traveling by plane. I probably would too, especially being 16. If you flushed it, it's still gonna be in like... their septic tank, right? Because it's on the train. It's not like you flush it and it just goes on the ground. Alright. Well, there you have it. Train Depart. Nice little short game. If you guys enjoyed, subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you all in the next one.